hello welcome again to heartbeat info today we'll be looking at the streets facing the upper of benin palace so we want to walk in the streets facing the upper benin palace it's a sunny day right now the sun is shining the weather is cool there are clouds so we're not expecting any rain today although it rained here yesterday because I came here to do this video and it began to rain so I had to stop and wait for another day to do this video luckily today I'm here and right now the weather is good you can see this the, the weather is okay and this road we are let's move this particular road is called the sub is called the airport road yes and this road leads to the ring road axis of Benin if you look at your your left hand side you can see the fence of the upper of Benin kingdom that you can see two symbols there they are called the Ada and the Ebel they were introduced to the Ibogumi Godo during the Ogiso dynasty Let's not forget that the Benin Kingdom was formerly called Igodo Migodo. The these two symbols they are the other is a symbol of honor, while the Eben is the sword for dancing. These two emblems are not swords or weapons, but they are weapons of uh, authority for proclamation and for ceremonial. Now, if you if you take a look at it, the other is the superior emblem, so it takes precedence whenever it appears. The upper of Benin, the upper and the chief, they can dance with the Eben. That's the Eben. That's the one at the down. All chiefs can possess this particular Eben, the one at the down. But only few chiefs that are given, that have been given, granted the permission, the honor, the privilege to use that other, the one at the top, that they, are, they can only use it only in their household. Only they can only use it only in their household. The other is carried by the over of Benin. It is carried in its presence, so that. It can be a reminder of his right to pronounce death. Now, we can see this particular building we are looking at right now. This is called the Oba Akenzoa Cultural Center. A very funny thing about this Oba Akenzoa Cultural Center is this. Originally speaking, it was built originally, originally to be a, a University of Benin theater originally speaking a long time ago it was built originally to become a University of Benin theater but over the years when it became solely funded by the government and in 1993 it was I don't know how it happened it was converted to become a state government controlled premises and it was named after a former president a former uh, president of nigeria uh the late general sani abacha yes it, it was named after him the late general sani abacha this center that was in 1993 it was named after him i think he, he came to benin at that time to uh to commission this project i remember then when on tv we, we could hear this song general sani abacha general sani abacha will welcome you to a state i must have been singing but I, yes when he came that time he came to benin and commissioned this project to be named after him but i think in uh I just can't really remember, but it was another authority. I think that was the Lucky Benidion's government that came and changed this name to the Oba Akenzoa Cultural Center because 
this because this particular cultural center plays host to so many events many cultural events in the state like the event of night fest if if you watch my first video my first video i did they did uh, when night fest was held in in edo state i was there i videoed just only the wrestling i just i uh, went there with a friend and just videoed only the wrestling and i posted it i never knew i'll be doing youtube like this i just i just posted it and that was part one of my first videos that i posted on this channel you can go there and watch it this part that so this particular cultural center hosts so many cultural events so it was just just natural for it to be named after a great benin king the oba akenzwa so that's how they named this this cultural center oba akenzwa cultural center uh, and on this road we have uh i think it's night posts maybe it's, i think it's night posts we'll be looking at it very soon like night post this truck is blocking his head night post so if you are coming to Benin and you want to post something from you want to do anything like post this post office it works it still works it's, it's one of the few one of the few government establishments in in this environment that's, that that works efficiently so when, when you are mailing your letters or anything this particular place so it's airport road you come to to pick up your posts your posts Now, uh, this road at our left, this is called Plymouth Road. This road is a road that is immediately, this road is the one facing the upper of Benin Palace. But we're not, we're not going to pass here. What we'll do is this, we'll take round so that we can pass the other road so that I can show you the the Edo Recreational Garden and Parks is just close by, it's not very far from here. And this particular park, this particular park is very, very fine, like so fine. And it's being used by mostly, mostly it's under lock and keys. So most people that enter, you pay to enter. And right now it's being managed, managed by the authorities. And because of that, most people that really uses this garden they are, they are marriage couples those marriage couples people are doing people that are doing marriage in uh the registry there they use this park to take pictures and have a good time i just hope that as i'm walking i can see one of them so that i can be able to enter inside the park because normally they don't really let people just enter the park because I think right now it's still on the maintenance walk so I hope maybe one day they'll lease it out to another authority to properly manage it so that we can all enter there and okay I think I can see some people inside the park uh, you see this place right now that they built, they built it so that people that are using the combat bus can stay inside and just relax so that the scorching sun cannot hit them. That particular place, the, the combat bus always stays there but right now they are not there. So I just hope that I see a marriage couple so that I can follow them to enter into the park. But if I do not see or maybe because normally 
they use it just for five or ten minutes and they are done based on their going for reception outside so if i do not see i'll still be walking along this road and hopefully before i come back touring the road i will see somebody someone or a couple inside right now we are the obayovrame square okay i think i can see some people there but there are no couples no couples are there right now but this place is so fine but if i do not see any couple here if i come back and there's no couple here right now what i'll do is this i'll wait and post another video about it but <laughs> today i must wait for couples to come so that hey right now you can see one there are some couples here but I think they are already done with using the garden so I'll just continue my work and but let me just look at them a little bit Right now, this building we can see right now is called the Oredo Local Government Council Secretariat. And uh, this is the place that uh, if you're about to get married, this is the place that you come to. Uh, this that's the place you come to. And they also do national identity, national marriage registry. That is the building. And this road we are walking right now is called Uropota Road. This is the Rokota Road, and this road is directly opposite the Oba of Benin Palace. This Rokota Road leads directly to the Oba of Benin Palace. Right now, we can see the gate of the Oba of Benin Palace. Very soon, I'll be showing you the fence. I'll be looking at the fence to see how it looks like so we can be able to see it. And the Oba Benin Palace is located along the Ply Mount Road. So that's why you can see this plan also is very very important to the economic situation of the state.
growing up in Benin, we heard many stories about the Opal Building Palace and this fence. We were told that uh, I think it was, I don't know how true this story really is, but we were told that this fence of the Opal Building was constructed because of the Oba market. There's a market very close by. I've, I've gone to the Oba market before in one of my videos, but very soon I'll go there again so we can really explore this, the market. It's a very, very big market, the Oba market. We were told that this Oba of Benin fence was constructed because of that Oba market, because the noise from the Oba market was so much and the Oba was not really happy about it and he built this fence and this fence stops all stops all noises that comes from the Oba market so no matter how much noise is being okay, let me let me cross let me cross over before I finish the story So all the noises from the upper market, no matter how much noise is being made in the upper market, it can never get to the palace. And many people that have really been to the palace, was, because I have never ever been to the palace before, inside the palace, many people that have been inside there have really attest to it that the noise from the upper market does not get to the upper palace. This particular road and the name i could not really get the name i checked and asked but nobody really nobody could really tell me the name of this road now if you look at this road they have this road is the road that uh they park the cabs that goes to the gra as is this is where they stay you can see the park the cab men here this particular cars they go to the Giwamu area they go to the Oko Central they go to the BIU area they go to the Iyama mostly uh, cars that go to the GRA and the government reserves areas and few areas this is the place you come to if you are going there now uh, in this place you still have some people that uh says fruits if you come here you get all manner of fruits in this particular place instead of it will go into, into the market you can just come here quickly before you board your because normally i i take this particular uh cab because i stay in the jerry area so i normally take this cab so before i enter i just cross over to the left you get your fruits there you can get most fruits here are very very okay and they are fresh okay you can see your banana and plantain now you can see these girls here yes they are learning work uh they can they are learning hairdressing i think it's hairdressing they are learning that's how it is like the the, the girls right now are really learning trade and it's a very good thing now we will be exploring the streets in front of the Oba Bini Palace so this particular street we are about to enter right now is called it's called Iwebo Street yes it's called Iwebo Street and this particular street here eh, it's mostly for drinks so they mostly cater for for drinks. Let's enter this. Like they mostly cater, they mostly cater for drinks, cold drinks, and if people that sells around here, they these are the women that they pile up their shop with these cold drinks and supply these women that sells. Like if if you have been following some of my videos, you see some women hawking with the head with their head. 
these are the shops that supply them so this Iwebo street is the street that most uh, people that did that own fridge fridge is in here people that own fridge <laughs> this is the shop that these women come to to take their cold drinks from And now let's right now we are still there and you can see the warehouse of uh, this plastic water this place I told you before they cater for lots of drinks pure water minerals because the weather is always hot so you need these cold drinks to really calm you down if not don't know just need these drinks to really calm you down so normally uh, I, I always buy this um, bottle of water just to calm myself down and this particular place now you can see that not all shops are open because this recording is on Saturday this recording is on Saturday so not all shops are opened right now and uh, I know by Monday they will be opened by Monday they will be opened right now not, not all shops are open the reason why we are taking here is this if it by the left hand side you can see the fence this is a traditional grand fence this is a traditional grand fence so these people are the right hand side you can see the space they give to the traditional grand 
case. You can see uh, these people at your the right hand fence. They space the gift to the traditional ground fence because in Benin tradition is always respected. You we respect tradition in this particular part of the world. So tradition is always respected. And right now we are about to enter one of the oldest one of the oldest streets in in Benin. We are about to enter one of the oldest streets in Benin. This is old Eguanugbe Street. This street is a that this street is very 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 old. It's not even tired, but it, it is very old. You don't I don't think this street will ever be tired because this street is just one of those attractions that you when you're passing Benin, you never ever know unless you are told this particular street is called Old Egwa Nogbe Street. Oh. And uh, we are about to enter another street. This street is called Alaka Street. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this properly, but it is Alaka Street. A L A K A. That's the street. This street starts here. And continues by the side of the fence of the upper opening. So you can imagine this. This particular you can you can see some buses here. A bus here. This not this guy walking by. This a bus to the right hand side. And that particular bus. These are called. Uh, they are shuttle bus. This bus. They are very very cheap. So if you are going to the DRA as is especially the water resources and the BIU area that bus you, you can take and it's direct straight ahead there's no stopping that bus will land you in the right in the right place it is cheap because it is very big it is cheap because it is very big right now we are we are back at Plymouth Road this is the Plymouth Road I just what I'm hoping is this that before we get to that garden because we are heading back to that garden that we see these uh, these uh, marriage people so that I can explore inside the garden but hopefully if I what if I get there and there's nobody there uh, we just have to wait and wait then do a separate video on it because today right now is Saturday and we have so many people inside that Secretariat, I told you about the secretariat, the Oredo local government council secretariat that I told you about. There are many married people inside that building, so hopefully, one will come out and use that particular recreational center for its or picture taking. Hopefully, I'll be there to capture it. So, if I get there and, and nobody is there, I will just have to end this video and wait and just stay there you have to just stay there because i just have to show you guys that particular park it's really beautiful it's one one uh, of the handbook of the authority that i really love because i really love this calm environment and i and i just want to enter there i've entered there just let me say only once or twice so i want to just enter there and have a feel of there and show you guys the beauty of that place because of the park is so green
this is a traditional ground of the Benin Kingdom. Uh, you can see the fence, the pattern of the fence. It's just once you see this pattern in Benin City, know that this is a traditional place. It's either owned by the by the Nugi or or traditional grounds. So whenever you see this particular structure, this is the you can see the other and the urban you have to tread carefully and there's not people don't even park even you park your cars in front of this traditional ground you can see if, along the road you can see people parking but outside in front of this traditional ground there is no parking because this traditional ground they are all is 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 a tourist attraction so they want people to just come and see it clearly and I can look at the park now. There's no couple inside, so I just have to wait for couples to finish from inside that registry and come out. Then I do a video of it. Yeah, hopefully, they will come out. So I have to do another video, and uh, but that video will still be dropping. To I have to still drop that video because I just want you guys to enjoy this to really see to really see it if you have really enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much